Hi, I'm Michael Raber with Raber's Part Smart, and I'm here today to talk to you about Triumph front axles. Uh, we get a lot of bikes in for service and uh, occasionally see that the uh, front axles are mismatched to the triple trees on the fork. So I want to give you a little illustration of how easy it is to mismatch them and what to look for when you're putting yours together. In the vise here we've got a fork for a 67 Triumph Twin, either 500 or 650. And I've got three axles here. One of them is the correct one. I'm going to start with an early, say a pre-unit axle. It should be too narrow for this. And I want to show you how easy it is to make the wrong one fit by squeezing the tubes together. And so Nick's going to get us a nice shot of one set of bolts is lining up and the other one's quite a ways off. But just by doing this with one hand, I can bring that fork in enough that I could plausibly get the bolts in there. So to give you that again, this bolt hole's lined up, this one's way off, but just with simple hand pressure, we could pull that in and get the bolts in. But by doing that, you're going to create a very, very poor fork action, in addition to the bolts going in hard and tearing up the threads. So that's the wrong one. Here's the correct axle. It should go in and more or less the bolt holes line up without any pressure on the fork tubes in or out. You can see those holes are all lining up correctly. And this is the correct 67 axle. And here's a later axle, uh, basically 69 and onward. And if we line up one set of bolt holes there's going to be quite a bit of pressure to get it out, but it's, it's possible that a guy could spread the forks far enough to get the bolts in, unaware that, the, you know, that this is the wrong setup because they're all very close to one another. So be mindful when you go together, without any pressure on the fork tubes, those bolts should line up with the little cutouts in the axle without having to spread or do anything you know, manhandling or rough, it should go right in. And if they don't, then you need a different axle. Thanks for watching. I hope that clarifies some things for you with Triumph front axles. If you have any questions, you can reach us at info at rabers.com and please stay tuned for more. Thank you.